Good afternoon. Today we're going to be building a gate similar to this one. Super strong construction and made from treated two befores. Let's go over to the gap where we're going to put the new gate in. Here's a half the gate already mocked up to check my measurements for the other side of the gate. I'll be taking this down and we'll be using this half of the gate as a prototype. Now let's take it into the shop and go over the construction. The gate is a the gate is a fairly conventional design. It's a simple box, 60 inches high, 33 inches across. The it's reinforced with these horizontal braces, three horizontal braces down here that serve as spacers and nailers for the fence pickets. It's further reinforced with 25 of these black lag bolts. This uh, about 25 degree angle brace and metal corner braces. First thing we're going to construct is the outer box out of four two befores. So let's get started. To speed things along, I've cut all the uh, wood to make the frame for the gate. Um, they're all cut exactly the size except for the angle brace which has to be custom fitted uh, with great precision I might add. Uh, to make the outer the outer box for the frame I'll need the 27, two 27 inches and two 60 inch boards. To hold everything together while I'm uh, truing it up and assembling it, I hold it together with two inch finish nails. The next pieces to be added are the horizontal braces. There's three of them. One there, one there, one there. They serve as spacers, braces, and also nailers for the pickets that are nailed to the gate. So let's uh, get to work on that. Sixty-seven, three-eighths. Sixty-seven and three eighths. Okay, right now the frame has just been squared up and tacked together with finish nails. Next operation is to install these special two and seven eighths inch lag screws. See them right there. They're in the ends too. If you don't have one of these, you need to get one. Well, pretty easy so far, huh? Okay. 
In this kind of uh, gate construction, the brace, the diagonal brace, has to be less uh, 45 degrees or less. This one happens to be about 25. Um, and it has to fit down inside precisely. So that's what I'm going to do now. Basically going to take a pencil and reach up under here and trace these angles. Okay, I'm going to cut this fat and then walk it into the line. Well, we'll now secure this uh, angle brace <clears throat> with the same kind of uh, bolts we put the front uh, frame together with. Okay, we have all the uh, we have the horizontal and the uh, angle braces all bolted in place. In addition to those. Uh, braces. I've chosen to install these metal corner braces in all the corners. They're designed for joist hanger nails, but I'm using one and a quarter inch coated exterior screws. To, it's now time to install the hinges I've selected. These are heavy duty zinc um, hinges. Uh, they come with large screws uh, for installation, but here I'm going to be using uh, lag, uh, lag bolts. So let's get started. The hinges are positioned so that they're a mirror image uh, to the other to the other gate, and each uh, each hinge is temporarily held in place with a screw. Well, the uh, easy stuff is done. Now I guess we need to do some gate installation. Okay, we have our gate in installed. Uh, well, it's not installed, it's mocked up, leveled up, um, got all the uh, gaps the right distance. And I'm holding the gate on right now with just some uh, uh, drywall screws uh, to kind of hold it in place while I put the uh, uh, lag bolts in. So I'm going to put the lag bolts in the hinges right now. Okay, uh, just to get the action started, what I'm going to do is drive drive one one lag bolt into each hinge and that'll uh, that'll lock it into position
Well, the gate frame's all in. All connected uh, with uh, lag bolts. I splurged and put a stainless steel gate uh, catch there. That's a ground peg. It's going to go into a pipe in the ground. I only use this left-hand side to get my mower out through this uh, front gate. Uh, this will be the people gate over on uh, over on this side. Okay, guess it's time to put some boards on the outside. Well, there she is. Perhaps the strongest gate in the universe. Pretty satisfied with it. Thanks for watching. And get excited for the next video. Let's check out this latch. Lift up the latch. Open up the open up the gate. Go right outside. And you gotta make sure you don't lock yourself out. Ah. Oh no! I'm locked out. Here's what she looks like from the outside. Alright, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next in the next video.